What's up everyone for the win Itachi here you know what it is thank you all very much for tuning in to tonight's live stream we are going to be playing Pokemon Quest today and I got some information about it because you can probably tell bro where's webcam I thought you were playing on the Nintendo Switch now what's going on so pretty much what's going on is I just found out earlier today that I can't play on the Nintendo Switch I can, but I can't transfer the data and this game over from the cell phone or a mobile device to the Nintendo Switch, and I did not know that was not possible. So sadly, we're going to continue this on the cell phone. However, it is not a bad thing at all, because I was playing on a Nintendo Switch, and it's not as fun as playing on a cell phone, and it's not as easy. So, we're going to continue... Um, this series and finishing this series off on our mobile device and we're not going to be losing out on anything or missing out on anything except being able to see me and my webcam while I'm playing the game but other than that we've got some things that we've got to do and take care of today because we are finally not doing any recaps anymore we're finally getting into the latest and hardest expeditions in the game so while I make sure my game is up and running because I was trying to do something earlier I'm going to okay that's not what I wanted but it doesn't matter we'll go from there but yeah pretty much you can't transfer your mobile device to the switch and you can't transfer your switch progress to the mobile device and I recently just found that out and it's kinda sucks because I kinda did want to play on the Nintendo switch I still have it on the Nintendo switch downloaded um, but I mean, I'm just going to go ahead and continue with this adventure because this one has been my progress so far and I really don't want to start over. And it's also a very, I, I believe this is better as a, um, as a mobile game than a console game anyways, but we can purchase two more decorations today. So that's going to be nice because we have been able to stack 600 pokey tickets while we have been off since the last time we were able to play. I believe we have, let's see, how many do we got? We got, okay, cool. Um, we get the Meowth Balloon. I can also purchase Charizard Torch and Blastoise Fountain and Venusaur Planter. I think I'm going to go for these because I'd rather two than just one. And these also look really cool. So we got two more decorations to go until we've completed all of them. Let's go ahead and add these decorations to the location. Um, interesting. Really interesting. Because I don't think it's going to look too nice here. Okay, well, I'm going to put it here for now. I don't think it looks great. Now, I don't think I have an area to put this. Oh, that sucks. That really does suck. You can't put all your decorations out. Ugh. All right, well, we, we're going to decorate. Your boy's going to legit decorate now. We're going to take everything out. We're going to redecorate this place up. This is an episode where I, I believe decorations important because we got a lot of good decorations to go ahead and put up and I do need to go ahead and check out what each and every single decoration does so yeah bear with me here I'm gonna start off with the big ones first because I want the big ones are basically where everything should be going and then we'll go from there of course I'll try to get I'm gonna get all the important stat wise decorations out first and then I will go with, uh, whatchamacallit, based off of looks. So, we're going to start off this episode with decorating, but again, we're going to be getting into some new um, expeditions today. We've completed expeditions 1 through 6 very thoroughly, and uh, hopefully with all the leveling and everything that we've been doing the past couple of episodes, we will be able to uh, complete a lot more. Alright, so, starting off with the Premier Ball, because this is a really important decoration, I believe that is probably the best place to put it, so yeah, let's go. Abundant Statue is the top one that I currently have, and it's not really an amazing looking decoration. Don't really want it there though, which kind of sucks. Huh, let's just put it in the front for now I think, yeah, let's just put it there. Gentle Breeze, Tranquility, Flourishing, Spring, and Prolific have no matter to me anymore. Let's go ahead and drop in a Jolteon Cushion. I believe we're going to kick that still next to the fireplace. Yeah. 
how do I want to do this though? Let's see. Hmm. I want to make this look. Okay, nope, I got it. Alright, so Jolteon. Vape Nation. And Flareon. Up front. Okay, now we got the Squirtle flag, which is also important. Um. Let's see. Hmm, this isn't easy. Squirtle flag. Alright, I figured it out. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and take this out. But we're going to move you. Where are you going? Uh, let's, I, want, I want you out of the way. Like, I really want you out of the way. Let's just put you here. You're, you're kind of out of the way for now. I do need it up, though, because it is really important to have. And Bulbasaur is going to go next to that. And then we get the Ditto Balloon, which is also important. Put that there. Pikachu Surfboard has to go here. It's next to everything. That's just a great spot for it to be. Oh, wow. We really have to rotate this one. The Mewtwo Arc is also one very important decoration to have. Blastoise Fountain. I would like to put that in the back, but sadly there's no spots for it in the back. So let's put it right there. Wow, that's massive. Then let's put that one there. No. Let's put that one on the side of Blastoise. Because Blastoise looks cool facing forward. Charizard doesn't. So let's put Charizard there, but let's go full rotation. Um, let's see. Oh my gosh. Alright, so Kangaskhan, Tauros, and Dojo. Kangaskhan, Tauros, and Dojo. Gotta figure out where I'm gonna put those. Kangaskhan, Tauros, and Dojo. But I do got space for these, so let's put that there. And let's put that there. So we got Kangaskhan, Tauros, and Dojo. Let me go ahead and see really quickly what these do exactly. Decorations. Okay. Tauros, Grey Drops, Kangaskhan, Multi Socket, Kangaskhan, Tauros, and Dojo. Gray drops. Size of gray drop ingredients 1.5. Size of gray drop ingredients 2. Okay, so I'm gonna need to increase that. So the Tauros is over the Dojo tent, and Kangaskhan is important as well. So Kangaskhan is important for sure. What's up, Dusk? How's it going? Um. Kangaskhan is really important. Where you at? I think I missed it already. Yeah, Kangaskhan is really important. Let's go ahead and drop this one out. There. And then, okay, so based off of these. So Gentle, Tranquility, Flourishing, Spring, and Prolific don't do anything because I have Abundance out. Abundance is the best one out of those statues. And then everything else is out except Mechanical Tauros and Dodrio Tent. But Mechanical Tauros and Dodrio Tent do the exact same thing. So Tauros is just the better version of it. So sadly I can't have it out. But that's pretty much our new setup. We've got only two more decorations that we're missing in this game. I do need to rotate the Ditto Balloon though. Because I just realized it's not facing correctly. There we go. Alright, so with all of that situated and set up, now we can do one last attempt at power leveling these Pokemon before we get into the hard stuff. So training, I gotta get Alakazam to max, which, well not max, but I gotta get him to level 50. That's like a, a, a for sure. So if I put in Drowsy, how about Ekans? Nothing else that's psychic re Ooh, Oh, Psyduck is kind of psychic related, but it's not. Okay, Ratatat will do it. Let's go. Welcome to 50 Cub. 
Okay, so all three of the Pokemon that I have on my team are now at level 50. Uh, Alakazam does have a new socket slot, which is also going to be a positive. Now I need to check out some stuff on these three Pokemon really quick. Power Charms. So I believe Cloyster has best in slot moveset. Withdraw, Icicle Crash. So that's good enough. Let's see Flareon really quick. I believe Flareon does have a socket just space as well. So we are going to be... Nope. Uh, well, it eventually will be. Uh, Fire Blast and Flamethrower best in slot uh, set for Flareon 2. It's just the move gems that I need to start um, earning and collecting. And Alakazam doesn't have Psychic. But I believe he has Psycho Cut. And Dazzling Gleam, which is not bad. Dazzling Gleam can get replaced by Psychic, but other than that, it's actually not bad at all. So, with that being said, let's do some more training here. Flareon. I can get you to level 51. Get you to level 52. That's because it's two fire types. Let's go ahead and do that really quick. Again, I'm trying to give myself the best opportunity to completing these new expeditions. Um, water types. So we got Cloyster. I will go ahead and throw in this for 51. Yep, that works. And then Alakazam. I don't think you're going to level up with that. Nope. Flareon, would you level up? You would. Cloyster wouldn't. Move learning. Cloyster 78. Um, Flareon 24. Why does Cloyster get 78%? Well, I don't want him. I don't want Cloyster to switch anyway, so it doesn't matter. What if I throw you in? You've got best in slot moves, but you only get to level 29. That's not cool. Um, might as well level up you one more time. Get this in. For once, alright, that's actually not bad. So our current team, Flareon, Cloyster, Alakazam, at level 50, 51, and 53. Is that an Eevee? What's that brown one? Which, which one are you talking about? I did not have an Eevee though. I didn't have an Eevee. I don't know which one you were talking about. The only, uh, I have a Flareon. Flareon, Raichu, Alakazam, and... Where is he? Seriously, where are you? Oh, Cloyster's back there. Alright, so, with our new team score of about 8,000, 8,400, we are now able to get back into Expeditions 7, 8, 9, and 10. We're going to try to complete as much as possible, but we're going to start off with Expedition 7. The, this is where the game totally switched. Expeditions 1 through 6 were okay. It was getting difficult. Now it's been really difficult, and it's been, I believe, three months, August, September, October, November. It's been three months since I've stepped foot into uh, Expedition 7, 8, and 9, and 10. So hopefully all of this leveling that I've done we're good to go. Yeah, oh, that's a, uh, that's a special Raichu, too. It's a surfing Raichu. It's got Surf and uh, Thundershock. So, it's, it's a limited edition, you can't get in the game Raichu. It was a Pikachu, but I, I wanted to evolve it. Alright, everybody. Expedition 7, Miasma Moor. Bonus type of rock. We're going to be doing Expedition 7-1, which is level 1 for Expedition 7, with a team total requirement of 6,100. We currently are at 8,496. Let's go ahead and see what this is all about. This is my favorite expedition based off of the looks of the level, and it is not an easy expedition to do. I'll tell you that much. However, I'm going to keep this on auto because I want to see how my team does while the PC is playing. I remember when you got that surfing right you. Oh my gosh. Old days. I, uh, the damage isn't that great. I'm going to tell you that much. And also my Alakazam is missing a gem slot. So hopefully one of these expeditions I get to uh, give him a decent gem. 
So hopefully we can complete some of these expeditions now that I've really leveled out thoroughly the Pokemon that are currently on this team. Again, Cloyster has a really good move set. Flareon has a really good move set. And Alakazam also has a really good move set. There is a couple of moves that could replace the ones that they have, but I don't want to force that at this moment in time. I'd like to see what we can do with um, with what we've got. I don't know about this icicle crash. Because I see Cloyster using it, but it's always off, way off into the distance. But Cloyster, like look at that. It's always way off into the distance. So Cloyster really doesn't use Icicle Crash. I don't like Icicle Crash anymore now. First time I've actually really seen it in action. I always kept Cloyster off into the background because, I, I mean, I never really needed him while I was leveling up. Ooh, the Deadlies. We're doing a lot of damage, I'll tell you that much. So we haven't really taken that much damage. We're facing off uh, the boss on this level, so Venomoth with Venonets. Again, Cloyster is my tank, so him not taking any damage yet is a, is a great positive so far. We're getting through this pretty good, too. Flamethrower. Uh, actually, use Fire Blast. I want to see Fire Blast on this. Nope, you're using Flamethrower. There we go, Icicle Crash actually doing damage too because Cloyster really doesn't have great attack. So to see that much damage come from Cloyster is also good. Yeah, this is my favorite level based off of looks of the expedition. I really love the theme and the color on this one. Not a huge fan of pink, but... This level actually makes it look cool. That's not the gem that I needed. I need an attacking gem. I got a sturdy. Alright, Expedition 7, level 2. Uh, team total of 6,900 is the requirement. Again, I am above that. So, I'm going to keep this on auto. We should be fine. I was definitely fine on Expedition 7 Level 1. And it's good to see my team get through this with ease. However, the bosses are not going to be easy. Because I remember doing them before, and I was nowhere near being able to complete them. So, it's going to be really tough. But if I can complete this game, that is going to be amazing. Also, for those of you tuning in, as always, I will be streaming Magikarp Jump after this live stream. And I also have another live stream coming after that. So it's going to be three live streams tonight. Icicle. I don't understand Icicle Crash. Why is it so far off into the distance? I'm, I'm really tempted and hoping I get a shelter so I can replace that with a 100% chance. Ooh, I didn't remember Pikachu's being here. We get to face off against Pikachu's in this expedition. That's, so this makes this expedition even better. Sucks I can't use my Raichu though. The, right, the level on my Raichu is really low. About, I think it's level 30. I, or I'm pretty sure it's 29, but it's around level 30. But with that Raichu being limited edition, I'm never going to get rid of it because there's no other way I can get one. This is where Fire Blast is needed. Yep, there we go. All of that explosive damage coming from the coughings and my team still standing very, very strong. Ooh! I mean, Psycho Cut does a lot of damage, I'm not gonna lie. It's one of the strongest moves in the game. Wow, there's this many coughings. There's been like 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so 7. That's about 20 coughings that we've just faced off against after those Pikachus. 
They all use explosion too. Flareon took the brute the brunt force of all that damage, but that's because Flareon decides to be a melee Pokemon when it doesn't have to be. The boss, I remember this. Being too wheezy. This is the James from Team Rocket level. Oh, the AoE that's needed. This team's actually doing good. Flareon's not gonna make it, but it's okay. Alakazam and Cloyster aren't going to take that much damage from this. Especially Cloyster. Cloyster doesn't take damage. Really slow overtime damage. And the fact that Cloyster's in between both of them, that's actually really good. Because Cloyster's in tanking it up. The first reason's going to be down. I also have Flareon coming into the play right now. Yep, there's a gem that I needed. I'm also going to get a legendary gem, so let's hope it's a mighty stone. Because this is my golden expedition of the day. When your icicle clash actually hits. This level was actually harder than I thought it would be. It's almost time for me to start taking over the reins of this game and turn off auto. There's my legendary, and it was a mighty stone. It is definitely what I needed. Oh, what? It's actually okay. It's not bad. I gotta, I gotta equip it though. All right, Alakazam, where you at? Let's give you that to Lego. 271. Huh. Let's actually redo these real quick. So I gotta make sure Alakazam has all the uh, the good mighties. Flareon's my uh, my basic. Cloyster gets all my good sturdies and Flareon gets the basics, whatever's left over pretty much. There we go. Alright, so start off with Cloyster, because Cloyster's my tank. That's like the key figure of this team. Alright, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alakazam, you are next. One, two, three, four. We also got a new... We did get an upgrade on the Sturdy, so that's actually good. We got a couple upgrades out of those expeditions. That's, that's pretty good. Two, three, four. That new legendary upgrade. Hold up. The 301 we don't need anymore. I think that's it. Yep, let's recycle. Get some cooking ingredients. I believe the cooking's done too. We'll be able to find that out in just a second. We got a new team total here. 8,700, so we went up about 400 points. Alright, cooking isn't done, but we do get a quest completion. Power Stone Collective, that's nice. Expedition 7 level 3 in me as more. We've got a team total recommendation of 7600 and I'm just about a thousand over that. So I should still be able to keep this on auto, but it is getting to a point where I'm no longer going to be able to do that. We'll see what we can do. Okay, so this is good because we've got grass type Pokemon here. And when I say good, I mean my tank is water type, but... It's a really sturdy water type, so grass doesn't really, I mean it affects it of course, but Cloyster's OP, let's put it that way. So being grass types, my Flareon gets, sorry about that, I got hiccups, Flareon gets to do a lot of work. Also Alakazam actually does a lot of work too against Weeping Bells and Bell Sprouts and stuff with his, uh, with his abilities here. The healing over time is actually working pretty well too. 
My team got that healing over time effect, fam. These legendary gems doing their work. They're almost back to full health. Wow. I'm assuming Victory Bell is the boss on this one. Another James themed Pokemon. Yep. There we go. Ooh, there's actually an Executor here too. Not the Alolan type though, sadly. But it's interesting, but my Alakazam can take care of that Executor very, very easily. As you guys can see, it's critting hard on that one with super effective abilities. My Flareon's actually still doing pretty well too. This level seemed to be much easier than the last one. I can barely see the boss. There we go. That's a better angle. That vine whip, though. Look at Cloyster's health, guys. Tell me Cloyster's not OP. I mean, I know there's better tanks in the game than Cloyster, but I haven't yet been able to get one at a decent enough level to evolve them and level them up. For example, Golem's what I'm looking for. Hmm, that could be a decent sturdy stone. We'll figure that one out. Alright, cooking is done. So, wish me luck. I'm looking for specific Pokemon now from cooking. Not really going for these ultra leveling sprees. We're, we're actually, so we got good in XL size. So we're actually looking for decent Pokemon that might be able to join the team. We got Licky Tongue though. This used to be my tank, so. I won't be replacing Cloyster with Licky Tongue because I do know Cloyster is better than Licky Tongue. Yeah. Especially a Licky Tongue that just knows Stump. <laughs> but Cloyster is a good tank for some of you guys that are starting out there. So don't be afraid to pick up a, a Licky Tongue. It's actually a really good tank. It used to be my tank. I need to check out that Sturdy Stone. See if it's an upgrade to anything. 297s. So. Flareon's one rocking it, and it's had an upgrade, so can replace that. I'll keep you for now, Licky Tongue. You're not going anyway. Whoops, I meant to click Expeditions. I wonder how many levels there are in Expedition 7. Hopefully there's 6 so I can actually attempt to complete it. Yes, there is. Perfect. Expedition 7 level 4. We're now getting there to where it's close to my level range. So it's 8200 as the uh, required level, but it's not always needed. You can do it at the lower level. But we're at 8,700, so we're about 500 over, so I'm going to keep this on auto because the last one we did pretty good. I'm just starting to get scared that I'm not going to be able to complete Expedition 7 now. So poison type Pokemon here. Uh, Alakazam is going to go on a super effectiveness spree. Also, uh, Flareon gets to do pretty good against Parasects too, so... Not too bad so far, this one. The boss for Expedition 7 is about 12,000 team requirement. And I'm only at 8. So it's another 4,000 higher than me. I wonder if I'm going to be able to complete that. I don't remember who the boss was either, so that's that's the that's the tough thing. If I remembered what the boss was, I can kind of remember what my strats were that I was trying to use back in the day. But we'll be able to figure this out. We'll try it. All right, so let's see who the boss of this one is. So far, my team hasn't really taken any damage. It's Muck, so we're, we're, we should be fine. Another Team Rocket favorite. Oh, defensive muck. Okay, I remember this one. This was just a long, a long battle, but it wasn't too bad. Definitely was nowhere near as long as that one uh, golem battle we had back in the day when I had just Shelter as my tank. Shelter wouldn't die, so that was a good thing, but it was it wouldn't do any damage. 
So, <laughs> it took me forever to kill that one. Muck was kind of in the same boat, but Muck's not that good. Especially because all three of my Pokemon are actually pretty good. Ooh, bringing out the Grimers midway. I wonder if they're ever going to do any upgrade updates to this game. Like bring in different generations or different islands for the future. To be honest, I don't think they will. They kind of just release mobile games or um, online games and just run with it. And let it do what it needs to do. So I don't really think they're going to bring any updates to this game. They might though. This is a pretty decent game, so I wouldn't see why they wouldn't. But since they haven't put anything on the shop, I don't think they're going to focus on this game too much because they're not making too much money off of this. This is just a fun free game that they probably would wanted to release for the cell phones or mobile devices and of course the Switch and tablets. Alakazam actually died this level, so I'm getting scared. I'm getting scared that the next level is going to be where I need to take over and that is what's going to happen. Okay, so all I got left is uh, Cloyster. And this is going to be frustrating. Cloyster won't die, but it's going to take a long time for me to finish this one off. In before Cloyster dies. Because Alakazam is not attacking. Okay, we got through that. But that's not as clean as I wanted it to be. Got a lot of cooking regions, so that was a positive. The leveling experience is not that great, though. They also were probably like, see, we have mobile games, too. <laughs> yeah. 239. Don't think that's good enough. Oh, I forgot to do my cooking. Ugh, hate when I do that. 239. Alakazam, you're the one that takes it, so let's see. No, but it is an upgrade for Flareon, so let's go ahead and do that. Upgrades are upgrades, I need it. 216, recycle that. Okay, so here, now that I need to play this game, because computer's not going to be able to handle this next level, let me go base camp real quick, throw on some cooking, because I do have enough Regents, I hope. Of course, we're going for the max. Auto set, but don't put any yes, thank you. Actually, no. Uh, reset that. I want it to be random. Auto set. Take off that. Throw on this yellow thing. Start cooking. What do we got? Five turns, I'm assuming? Yeah. I won't be able to complete that today, but it's at least out there now. Alrighty, so Expedition 7 level 5 with a team total of 10,800 as the requirement. I only have 8,800 and 5. So I'm 2,000 off of the actual requirements. However, I have completed this level before with the current team that I have. So let's just hope I'm able to do it again. I am no longer doing this on auto because now we're getting into the tough expeditions. Taking huge jumps and huge leaps. And I haven't played this game in forever. Being not on auto. So this is going to be interesting. Oh, the icicle clash is going to work. Oh, it didn't work. What sucks is this angle. But the angle is also working for me because Flareon just gets to smash on him. <laughs> okay, let's go for Psycho Cut here. Got a lot of AoE type moves, so it's good. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Icicle Clash. I'm going to have to get rid of that move. It's just not working. I really need Ice Beam. Because if I can freeze bosses, that's going to be a huge. I 
Okay, Dazzling Gleam does not look like a Dazzling Gleam ability. I always thought that was Psycho Cut the whole time he was using it. Psycho Cut I know is good. Yeah. Alright, so that one's gonna die. That one's also gonna be dead. So we're doing good so far. Alakazam's actually the only one really taking damage here. It's gonna take forever to kill this Kakuna. I gotta get him when his defense is low. There we go. Okay, so let's actually wait. Get some heal over time. I'm just gonna keep making my Pokemon run away so they can max heal. So we gotta face off against a Vile Plume. Ah, oh, this is gonna be crazy. Is it gonna be doable though? That's the question. Let's actually go with a Dazzling Gloom here. Alakazam's almost dead. Not good. I need to get another Fire Blast off. Fire Blast is not working. This is terrible. I don't know how I was able to complete this before. I really don't. Actually, Ice Skull Crash can come in handy. Let me see if I can pull it. Nope, didn't pull it off. I wanted him to run the other way. So that was the issue before. Poison. If you can get a burn off, that'd be great. Sadly, Alakazam decided to move you. Um, let's get a Psycho Cut off before you die. Oh wow, we actually completed that. Interesting. Oh, I, I, I know, because this is all based off of colors. But it's not too bad. If you're colorblind, it that should actually make this a lot more basic than what we see. Ooh! A 380... Oh my gosh. We just got two upgrades and they're massive. This is gonna help. This is what we need. So I got two attempts on this uh, final boss on Expedition 7, so... Let's go ahead and see what we can pull off here. But this is definitely what we need. Okay, so that's a 338. That is definitely a positive. We're going to to go ahead and remove 317, I believe. Yeah. Alex Sam, let's go ahead and upgrade you. These are some massive gems. Um, so the lowest unused is the 337. And then the lowest unused is the 310. Larian, you get some upgrades too. 337, so the lowest unused is a 239. Actually, nope, sorry. Did a 230. Uh, oh no, that's a 333. My bad. And then the 310 over the 302. And I can recycle, I believe. Yes. That's a lot of upgrades right there. That was actually a good haul right there. It's been a while since I've been able to get some gems from dungeons, and we got two. Almost at 9,000 team total. And this is where it's going to get sweaty. Expedition 7 Miasma More, bonus type of rock, boss level at 12,500. I'm... I'm staring at this number and it is huge compared to my team total of 8,900. We are a pretty, I just pretty much say we're about 4,000 off and we kind of struggled to do that last level. So I'm not 100% sure on being able to complete Expedition 7 just yet, but we're going to give it an attempt and go from there. Um, but I do know Expeditions 8, 9, and 10 do have some levels that are easier than this one. So we'll probably do those to go ahead and level up and power up just a little bit more. But let's give it an attempt. Let's at least see what we got to deal with here. I'm actually scared. I'm really scared here. 
withdraw right away. I also had the opportunity to mess around with Fire Blast and all these moves, so... This is gonna help. Alright, so we cleared that. However, it was not easy. My team has taken a lot of damage. Wait, why did it go in the water? Oh, I didn't know that was possible. Okay, so it's really a, th a throw in the front. He's already dead. Oh, these the damage we're taking, boys. Taking some nasty damage right now. Alright, stay here, Cloyster. Ah, <sighs> first level, and we've already lost him. Oh, Flareon, come on, relax, relax. Run away, bro. That's not what I wanted to see. I did not expect that, but it, it ended up... <laughs> One-shotted. Great. I'm trying to stall for time. But my team just doesn't allow that. I really, this is a pathetic move. Icicle Clash is pointless. It doesn't do anything. If you can get it off, that's great, but it doesn't do anything. Yeah, look at that. It always is so far in front that it has no meaning. Cloyster, I really, I need to uh, do some work with you. Like, look at the look at the icicle clash. It doesn't do anything. It's so sad. I do too. It's actually really fun, but I don't think I'm gonna get through this level. So it's sad. Stay alive, guys. Alright, cool. So we're getting to the boss. We get to see what the boss is, but I really need to stall here. Because both of my Pokemon are going to die right away. Oh, it's a pincer. I remember this. Yeah, no, there's no chance. With three Venomoths. Alright, here we go. Flareon's already done. Um, Cloyster's facing the wrong way. Run away, Cloyster, no! Run! I don't, I can't do anything. Oh, Cloyster's paralyzed. Just wonderful. Oh, now he's dead. I can't run away. I can't run away because he's paralyzed. No. Did he get it off? Oh, it didn't work. Got one Venomoth down. Oh, yes. That's, that's working. The damage you do. Alakazam, come on, man. Alright, Flareon's coming up. I'm going to need you to get a Fire Blast, and it's going to be a Super Trap. Super Trap right here. Let's go. Nope, didn't get it off. Alright, stay alive. Stay there. Because we got a nasty Flamethrower. Push him back. Stay alive, please. Get rid of this Venomoth. Oh, you died. Didn't need you to die there. You're, you're, paral oh, you're paralyzed, man. Dazzling Gleam. Get deflections off. Let's go. 
Why do you have to be paralyzed? They're both gonna die. I can't withdraw. Thank you. Guys in the game, push him away. Push him away, please. Push him. Run. Run. I need to re-withdraw, and I need to Dazzling Gleam. The, the Dazzling Gleam is what's helping because it's a, it's, a not, it's a knockback. Run away again? Okay, here we go. Here's the trouble. Here's the trouble. You're, you're in a corner. If you were not stuck here, we would win. If you weren't stuck here, we would win, bro. Look at this. If you weren't stuck here, we would win. Ah, oh, so close. Ah, oh. we're actually so close to being able to do that. I'm doing. I'm getting another attempt. If I don't get trapped there, it's doable. There's a. I'm gonna try to get rid of um, icicle crash though. It's such a useless move. I didn't know it was this bad. I've never actually been able to use it, that's the thing. But it's such a far frontal a uh, AoE ability. So, training. Please, Lucky Tongue, do some work for me. Ninety-nine percent. Yes, that is what I need to see. So I can't, I'm going to learn something new here. Please be good. What is that? Rock Blast. Wait, isn't Rock Blast good against Bug Type? Rock Type's good against Bug Types, no? Oh my gosh. I think I've just been gifted the move of all times. I think I've just been gifted the move. I mean, his, his attack is bad, but it's at least something. Oh, this is so... Use your hose, hard rocks in front of itself, damaging enemies, hit by... Oh my gosh, this is... Number of shots, attack percent. Effect for buddies, effect duration, effect for buddies. They just don't do anything because there's no effects. Alakazam, do you need any? I don't think you have any effect stuff. You don't have effect things, do you? No. Flareon, what do you got? Uh, effect duration. Let's use that on... That's Fire Blast, right? Yeah. Effect duration on that. And then which one's this? Attack with. Oh, that's perfect. Let's go ahead and go to Alakazam. Dazzling Gleam was really important that fight. Now that I know about the knockbacks and everything about that, we this is doable. Let's, I mean, it's not really, but we'll, we'll give it an attempt because I want to see if we can complete this. Alright, back into the boss of Expedition 7. Uh, yeah, Pinscher looks absolutely funny. He's huge, though. Massive. Oh, I can't believe we got Rock Blast on Cloyster. This is going to be interesting. The timing of those moves had to be precise. Get the flamethrower advantage, and then get the dazzling gleam to knock him away. And rock blast actually does some, some work. This is good. Dazzling, I love dazzling gleam over psychic. You don't even know. Rock Blast is actually lit. This is this is going well. Psycho cut on this one because I didn't want him to move. Should have looked. Um, Flareon, please survive. Look at oh my gosh, this is not bad. All right, run away. 
try to get some heal over time effects going on. I'm gonna mass spam this as much as possible. The more health I have, the better. Sadly, you guys just ran towards the actual fight. Alright, so I gotta play this carefully. Right, Self-destruct, please. There we go. Didn't take any damage from that. I forgot about that the first time around. Alright. Alright, so rock... The rock blast isn't going to do too much against the grass types, but... <sighs> it's better than nothing. Alexander's going to take a lot of damage. Oh, he's dead. Interesting. This is actually going a lot worse than the last one. A lot worse. I got one down. That's okay. Knock this muck around in front, please. Thank you. That's why I love Dazzling Gleam. It's just such good placement control. Alright. Keep running away. Do not go towards Pinsir. Please, please. Cloyster, why are you going so fast, bro? Oh, it's a Scyther now. Oh, oh no. This is not good. This is not what I wanted to see. So it can be a Pinsir or a Scyther. Oh no, this is bad. Get the Nox. Get the Nox. This is terrible. This is not what you want to see. The Scyther is 10 times better than the freaking Pinsir because the Pinsir is slow. This is... No, this is bad. I need to get a burn off. This is so bad. Not what you want to see here, guys. Oh my gosh, why? I did not. The Scyther's not the one you want to see. You want to see Pinsir. Pinsir's a little bit weaker than Scyther. Just don't go into the middle, please. Oh, Cloyster's sleeping too. Oh, the effects. Finish that off for me, Alakazam. Thank you. Run away. Because I need you to survive. Drag him in. Drag him in. No, he's gonna go after. Gonna go after Flareon. Flareon, run away, please. Alright, that's not, that's working. Run away. No! You, he's got defensive move capabilities, too. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. This is why you don't want Scyther, because he's just so fast. You don't get... Like, my tank won't be able to do anything, because he doesn't have any attack. Except Rock Blast, which doesn't do much. I couldn't get it off. You actually casted it, but you couldn't get it off. I can't even get a Withdraw off in time. Why can't you just run run away? Stop dying. <laughs> yeah, if this is this is actually doable if I had Pinsir. Cause look at how long we've actually survived here. If you can get a burn off, I mean we got this. Burn does a lot of damage. Dots do a lot of damage in this game. Why do you have to go after my Alakazam, bro? Do you not understand how Alakazam's my... My broski? Wait, what the hell is going on? Well, you're dead by not doing anything. You're gonna die here because I can't withdraw. Alex Sam, I need you to psycho cut and I need it now.
Oh, he couldn't even get a move off. See? <laughs> now run. Drag him through. Drag him through. You didn't drag him through, bro. What the hell's going on? Why didn't I get pincer? I could have done pincer. I could have dealt with it. This game doesn't like me. If you could run away, that'd be great. Why can't you get one burn off? Um, Dazzling Gleam come in for the win? I'm trying to get some heals over time, it's not working. We're dead. Oh no. Cloyster died. Flarian, no. Run! So bad. No, you're so close. Look at the health, please. If Cloyster revives, he revives at half health. Because he hasn't died the whole time. Oh my gosh. You don't know how close we were able to get so close to Scytha and Pinsir. But Pinsir, I would have defeated Pinsir because of the upgrades. Uh, well, we got Expedition 7. At least I know we're able to complete that. Sadly, it needs 25 p.m. tickets to go ahead and continue. Oh, man. Well, at least I know next time I get back into this, we're definitely going to be able to complete Expedition 7. Because most of the time you get Pinsir, it's really rare that you get Scyther. Oh, that's sad. But, I'm actually happy to know that I'm able to complete Expedition 7. So, for those of you that tuned in, thank you very much for tuning in. I will be live again in just a couple more minutes. We will be transferring over to Magikarp Jump. Um, not too sure how long I'm going to be playing that game for. Basically, I'm assuming when I complete Pokemon Quest, I'm going to say that I've completed my journey through Magikarp Jump as well. But, that's for another time. Catch you guys around. Next time we'll be back at Pokemon Quest. We will be able to complete Expedition 7 and move on to 8. So catch you guys there. Peace.